20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, Forty years after he first walked on the moon, Buzz Aldrin touched down in Hong Kong. Whilst in town, he visited the Space Museum to officiate the opening of Beyond Time, an exhibition that showcases gear used during the moon missions. I feel very blessed to have been uh, one of the very few people who somehow reached the qualification to be considered to walk on the moon. After a short speech, the 79-year-old space pioneer tried on some replica moon boots and then answered questions from starry-eyed students and professors. I think the moon needs to be visited by those nations with space programs that have not progressed to that point yet. And the United States has the experience to bring together all nations who would like to go to the moon with their tachonauts or their astronauts. We can help them do this with our experience. After Neil Armstrong came down the ladder and before his small step, he jumped back up to the bottom of the ladder just to prove that we could do that. It's a big step. So then he took his small step for man and a giant leap for mankind. And after a while, it was my turn to come down. So I came down the ladder and jumped down to the bottom. And I thought it would be easy to jump back up. But it wasn't. It was hard. It was difficult. And, and I missed. And I had to try again. And, and I was so disappointed that, that I had not succeeded in the first thing I needed to do. So later, before I came back in, I jumped around on the moon, and that was very easy to do. <laughs> a teardrop uh, would probably not come down. It would probably stay right there on top of the eye. And you, all you need to do is blink, <laughs> and it's gone. I think the primary thought that is of lasting significance uh, that I had on the moon, uh, glancing up and seeing the Earth and realizing that all of humanity, all of history, all of evolution was up there except for three people. Three of us were detached. But how unusual it is that at that moment, more human beings up there, out there, back there, were paying attention to us at that moment. Any, any nation at any time in the future that decides that there is a pathway that can be started that will lead uh, eventually, that could lead to human beings settling on another planet in a growing permanent way, that the leader of that group of people even though many other leaders will have to endorse that plan to make it succeed, that the leader that starts that pathway will be 
very kindly remembered by history. And I hope that President Obama appreciates the opportunity that he has now.